All right, let's go see what Uncle Ollie's have. Hey, what's up, Unc? All right. Looks like they're having a close out, as always. Got the Shang-Chi dragon. A lot of these basic toys for kids, mainly for kids. There's some adults like these. Got a whole bunch of Fortnite stuff. I wonder if they have the boot. They got a lot of these two packs. Let's see. Going for $12.99. They were $24.99. And these are six inch figures, so that's kind of surprising. Interesting packaging. It's like this comes with a glider. Probably the same price. Yeah, $12.99. Yeah. yeah, great for Fortnite fans. It's a fun game. I used to play it. Oh, they got some arcade ones too. Arcade collection these are six inch scale 199 I actually may get one of these yeah it'd be good for diodes for sure yeah definitely picking this up uh, the number got some stands with the gliders maybe they have a boat somewhere I don't I'm not looking for one I know a lot of people are just kind of want to spot it let's see is this Marvel? Nope. Where's all the goodies? There we go. Look at all these legends. Plenty of legends for days. We've got the Black Panther wave here too. Bunch of Wongs. We got some of the uh, um, Age of Apocalypse wave figures too. More Wongs. We got Darwin. Okay. Do we have this whole wave? I do need Maggot and a couple more from this wave. Yeah, I need Havoc, Vulcan, Maggot. Yeah, just need those three. It'd be nice to find Wolverine too, but he doesn't come with a bath piece. Get this older Thor wave. Korg wave, right? Yeah, Korg build a figure. Got Ronin. Got that two pack. Got Black Widow. Got some carded figures. Fantastic Four. Yes, okay. They got maggot. Plenty of maggots, okay. I'm surprised Wrestler Wave is not here. But then again, Havoc was more popular amongst that way. Yeah. What else do we have here? Fantastic Four Wave. Of course, the Eternals Wave. The Eternals, Game of Thrones. Blind Boxes, okay. I think that's about it, dude. If I see more new stuff, then I will show you. But yeah, Maggot, go for 9.99, excellent. We got some Jurassic World figures here. Triceratops for 9.99 was originally 18.99. Ankylosaurus. Velociraptor. Dilophosaurus, two packs. Cobra. Rattler. Construction set. It's like Legos. Very light. $17.99. Was $40. Okay, that's a good deal. Oh man, look at all these battle cats and panthors. <laughs> so much of them. And then we got a bunch of black series here. Got Lando. Yeah, these are peg warmers. They've been here forever. Three three quarter figures. Kind of surprised Dengar is still here, man. That's such an excellent looking figure. $9.99. That's a hell of a deal. More Dengar. More three and three quarter retro figures. 
for Joe's. Three and three quarter Super 7 figures. I think they're Super 7. So Ninja Turtle. I'm kind of surprised these are here. Foot, foot Lieutenant. Oh, we got Beast Wars, okay. Tigatron. How much is he going for? $9.99. It was $19.99. Definitely a better price. Archie. Alright. Got some low two figures here. Skeletor. Put the battle armor. Battle armor He Man. Let's see. These are going for $15.99. They were $24.99. Wind Raider. Plenty of these. We got Optimus here, nice. and Megatron. They're going for $14.99. Said I wasn't going to get into this line because, I mean, I really like all the newly updated ones. Didn't have these when I was a kid, even though I was a huge Beast Wars fan. I never even saw these on the shelves, I don't recall. This is the only Optimus one. I may get these. I feel like these are going to be here for quite a while. Yeah. That's a good price though. $14.99 was $30. Alright. Let's move on. Check it out, dudes. They have this arcade one up Blitz, NFL Blitz Legends machine for $299.99. It was $5. Five hundred ninety-nine That's very tempting. I freaking love playing Blitz back in the day on the 64. <sighs> 299 though. Wish it was like 200, just like the Simpsons. Okay, console. Alright. Maybe later in the future. 299, yeah, that's a bit steep. Yeah. That's cool to see. All right, let's get out of here. All right, it's been a couple days since I've been to a Target, and it looks like they have this monolith salmon twitch two pack, which might be on sale. I know on Amazon they probably got plenty, and they're probably gonna keep on dropping the price. We got Guile and a 1956 Ford F100. Stranger Things and TMNT, and look, we have the Mirage Turtles. This is kind of weird to see in the wild. Two of them. Fantastic set. Love it. Love how beefy they are. King Spider. We still got this Batman. Gold label collection line. First two Batman Riddler. I already picked that one up the other week. You probably you probably saw in the previous hunt. Any new ooh got Superfly anyone else from I mean I got all the turtles and did I grab April I don't did I I totally forgot dang it yeah April was probably my least favorite character in the movie Frieza ooh Target exclusive that's a good looking pop a lot of great details Aquaman Another Frieza. Richard Simmons. Still have yet to see the NECA Richard Simmons figure. Kind of wanted just to put it somewhere where every time I look at it, it'll just motivate me to work out. Even though I, I really don't need it because I'm I usually work out pretty regularly these days. So it keeps me keeps me going. You feel me? Still got the arcade or Sega Goliath Frankenstein accessory set. I should probably that sometime soon before it sells out actually there's probably plenty on big bad toy store that's about it my dude still got the saw figures so what 69.99 or 79.99 you know let's take a look at the posters I rarely do that actually you know what that's gonna take too much time <laughs> do we still have freezes yep 
and we got new Naruto. I'm ready for the uh, uh, the younger version of Naruto and the other characters from Figure Arts. Really, really glad I waited. This looks fantastic, but yeah, I'm kind of just more familiar with the original style, the younger versions, because. I got to ship you then, but yeah, I just, there were so many episodes so I stopped watching. All right, let's move on to a different aisle. All right, check it out, guys. I'm at Walmart. They have this Disney 100th anniversary, I'm guessing. Um, special display here. It's got a whole bunch of Marvel-related stuff, including some Marvel Legends. We got uh, Conehead, a.k.a. Marvel's Egghead. This is, oh, we got Ultron as well. Dang, he's part of this wave as well. Yeah, how many Ultrons have we had in the last, what, five years? I think three, right? Cassie Lang. That's the Builder figure, man? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Yeah, man. Looks like they got everybody. Ultron. Kane the Conqueror. Future Ant-Man. Oh, I think this is my first time seeing Karnak. Man, these Marvel Legends look so cheap these days, man. That's why I haven't bought one in a pretty long time. Crossfire, they got Marvel Boy. Photon. Crossfire, Iron Man. Captain Marvel. I think that's everybody from this wave, yeah. Okay, it's cool to see these legends here, but not for $24.97. Good. I do want this Amadeus Cho build a figure though, aka Totally Awesome Hulk. Take a closer look. Yeah, man, they just don't have enough details. They need to do it like what the uh, the GI Joe team does, and you know, it seems like they put a lot more work onto those Joes. Ben Riley, we got Miles, Chasm, probably everybody, yep. Jessica Drew, Electra, another Ben Riley. I do like this head scope a lot. I'll eventually get this. What else? Got some plushies, light bright, LED, some Legos. On this side, it's a Barbie related stuff. All right, let's move on. All right, mostly have all the usual stuff that we see. Ooh, three and three quarter Mandalorian Super Commando Captain. First time seeing that. It's Joe, we got Lady J. Still have yet to see. Oh, I think these are new. Got the uh, six inch versions of these. Fortnite. Ooh, that looks new. Mecha Strike Commander. Of course, a whole bunch of these micro, micro galaxy squadron figures. Kenny Omega. We got Andre the Giant. That's a cool looking pack. And then we have Stone Cold Crusher Monster Truck. With Stone Cold there. It's eight breakaway pieces. Interesting. Okay. Alexa Bliss. I think that's new as well. Could be wrong. We got the ATT -AT Walker. Which is cool. A whole bunch of plushies. Bubble Fat, of course. For 33, is that? Oh man, that actually is the price for it. Just because it's a Boba Fett. Wow. That's about it. Other than that, you got all the usual stuff, you know. I don't see anything else new. Oh my god. If I do see anything new, I will show y'all. Alright, I've not been to a Target in two weeks, I think. Comic related cards? No. I do have this Star Wars. Is this new? Look for rare autographs and inserts. Man, 
God, he's just been sitting here for so long. Yeah, I'm definitely not going to get into it. I just like the comic related ones. Which you rarely find out in the wild. You got Frieza, Figure Arts. $34.99. Still a whole bunch of these Broly 2 packs. Which is actually surprising. It's a very attractive set. None of these are on sale yet. Ooh. I took a Cyrax. I do want this. Maybe I'll skin it. Yeah, it's probably not on sale. Some oh Earth Two Batman. I already picked this one up, but I think yeah, some people are finding that on clearance. I would scan it myself, but all the scanners here don't ever work. Jamie Ray's. I am looking forward to watching this movie. Blue Beetle. Demon Slayer. Ten inch palm. Superfly Judo Master. Oh, from um, uh, gosh, I forget. Yeah, Peacemaker. Duh. Is it just coming out? Oh, they got the Leo Turtle Van. I was gonna get that, but I'm not. I may pass on it. Casey Jones 2 pack. Restock. Yeah, plenty of them. Got some neutrinos back there. Plenty of these Casey Jones, Casey Jones two bags. All the usual NECA stuff. Yeah, nothing new. All right, let's move on. You know, some people are finding this on clearance as well. Yeah, I don't really want this though. I am good. This should be in a different section. I'm kind of surprised it's here. Alright, I did notice one of the scanners do work, so I'm actually going to scan, yeah, Cyrax and this Salmon Twitch 2 pack, and the Batman, yeah, because if I can get that on clearance, then I could return the other one. Hey, Stanley, what's Alright, Sam and Twitch. Come on, baby. $24.99? I think last time I checked, it was $34 something, yeah, on Amazon it's $30 something. So hey, $24.99 for these two pretty big figures. $12 each. Oh. I may have to pull the trigger, but then again, they have a good amount of these. I like my crocs. Freaking loving these crocs. I can't believe I haven't I didn't rock them in the past. You know, I got gifted someone gifted these uh, to me and yeah, I didn't wear them for a while because I didn't think it was gonna be comfortable. 30 bucks. Is that? I think that's cheaper than usual. Yeah, I think it's like $39.99 or $49.99. It's $29.99 for this big dragon. Ooh. I haven't bought a toy in a long time. I told y'all I'm going to chill this month and take it easy. I haven't bought a toy in like, what, I think two, three weeks. I am tempted. I am tempted. I'll think about it. Let me go get that Batman. All right, Batman. Joker Rise Batman. $24.99. Okay. Still full price. Turtle set. I'm not gonna buy it, but unless it's like less than five bucks. $12.49. That is on clearance. I'm pretty sure this is like 20, 30 bucks. Yeah, $12.49 is what? About three dollars each. <laughs> I'm tempted. <laughs> Just because it's turtle related. think about it <laughs> all right got some halloween stuff got some ninja turtle costumes <laughs> Ooh, that's cool i like that bandana or head band whatever you call it leo wheelchair adaptive costume that is awesome that this company did this 35 bucks i like that a lot hulk <laughs> That's got to be fun. Yeah, that's awesome. Oh, comes with a cover for the... Dude, that is great. 
Cowabunga, my dudes. Cowabunga. Heck yeah, I would have rocked these back in the day. And they got some female versions too. Very cool. Dude, Stanley, he works here. He helped me out. Um, if you guys remember from several videos ago, he helped me get some Ninja Turtle stuff. Very cool, dude. Yeah, we're gonna hang out, so that should be fun. Still got a whole bunch of Joker eyes. Yeah, another Batman here. Blue Beetle. This Superman too. Oh, this is my first time seeing this. I'm pretty sure I've seen it. Face cool is kind of goofy. Interesting. Not bad though. I mean, they don't look like good Superman head sculpts, but they look head sculpts looks all right. Who's that? No idea who this little human is. But yeah. Okay. Interesting set. Ah, oh, still want this. Still want a lot of these new Marvel Legends, but I just can't pay that price, man. I don't want to do it. Got these Joes, very attractive art on them. Snicked. Yeah, I'm kind of in a rush because they're about to close up, so still got a whole bunch of these card ones, still a whole bunch of these. Some of them probably been figure swapped. Alright, let's move on. Buy one, get one to half off. Luke. Bane two pack. Point Dread Talent Fight. Yeah, we see that. Oh, we still got the playset here. Which I'll eventually get. Other than that, I think that's about it, my dudes. I do need to glow in the dark. Mikey and Donnie, which I've not seen yet. I'm not in a rush, though. We'll eventually find them. Dread not as I want you, but not for that price. $64.99. It's been going on sale like to $55 here and there, but I want it for a lot cheaper. Chewy, dang. 200 bucks for this. Alright. Scanner doesn't work. Okay, so at least I know one scanner works at this target. Still got these thugs. Grunt and Jersey Red. Plenty of them. Yeah, that's about it, my dudes. Sorry, I'm in a bit of a rush, so yeah, let's get out of here. Alright. Got a lot of Marvel Legends hitting clearance now. The usual trading. Ooh, they got Marvel Beginnings. These look okay. I like the Fleer Ultra ones, which I don't really see them at stores anymore. I got Joe here. He may be on clearance for 50% off. Price check this last time. This was like what 12 something, might be even cheaper. Same with Sam and Twitch. Ooh. Check it out. They got the uh, Jade Toys Ryu figure. We already picked this up a while back, but it's really nice to see. All right, a lot of Marvel Legends figures have been going on clearance. Let's see if this target has them on sale. Let's see. Alright. Okay, looks like they have the clearance tags up. We got Iron Man Model 1 here for $12.49. Marvel Boy. Yondu. Man, yeah, a lot of the carded uh, Spider Man figures have been taken. We got one here. Yeah, I don't really care much about this Miles Morales suit. That man. Yeah, a lot of these Marvel Legends are probably going to end up at Ollie's for $9.99, so. I'm okay with not getting them for, what, 12 something I can wait. I do want some of these Joes. Shipwreck, he's not on clearance, according to the tag, but I'll ring him up. 
hopefully this one has not been tampered with. Mm. Yeah, definitely want shipwreck. I like the art on this box. Yeah, this character looks pretty cool. I like that backpack. We'll bring him up as well. Let's see. Blue Beetle. Got the Superman 2 pack. All the usual stuff. Ooh, we do got whole thirty dollars. Okay, I'm kind of surprised all of these are still here. Okay, yeah, I think we'll go ahead and pick up these two, these two packs. I really don't need that Thor, but I really want that destroyer. So, all right. Okay, that was a fail. Uh, let's see. Yeah, these are pretty hefty, so I don't think they've been tampered with. That's a good sign. I should have brought a basket. <laughs> oh, small two pack. Hawkeye as well. Let's bring all these up. Yeah. Nice. Let's get a basket as well. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, let's see. Oh God, it's $24.99, so half price. I got an older version of Hawkeye, which I'm pretty content with. Let's see, a Super Skull. Not Super, yeah, Super Skull and Skull Queen 2-pack. $27.99, okay, half price. If this ends up if this ends up at Ollie, this is probably going to be $29.99. So I may go ahead and pick this one up. Dusty. Still full price. Okay. Which means, yeah, shipwreck is probably full price as well. Yep. Okay, we'll wait on that. These are at least half price. Maybe it's cheaper. Nope, half price. 30 bucks. It'll eventually get cheaper, but the question is, will they be around? A lot of people are picking these up at this price. I mean, it's an excellent price, fifteen dollars each. I mean, you get this deluxe figure and then the Bruce Banner figure. Excellent. All right, I'll think about it. Let's get out of here. All right, let's see what they have here. They got some wrestling, wrestling figures for sale, half price. Oh, also this. No, that's wrong figure wrong spot. That was a Boba, Boba Fett figure that was on sale. I won't get one 50% off. These AEW figures. Okay. Ultimate Warrior. Got these helmets. They're like basic. This is on clearance. Well, there's no tag, yeah, so it's probably not. They got plenty of them, so yeah, I'll definitely pick this up in the future once it goes on clearance. Yeah, so here's all the Mutant Mayhem figures. I was wondering where they are. Yeah, I'm not gonna get these mutating, mutating figures. Just don't need them. I do want this Brachiosaurus. Yeah, I'm gonna wait till it goes down on price. $84.99? Yes. Don't want to pull the trigger yet. On that, Bugman and Electro Zapper. Okay. Kind of surprising to see. I think that does it, my dudes. Got Rex. Alright. Ooh, look at this. Elasmosaurus. That's an attractive looking dino. Regular. Interesting. All right, I think that does it, dudes. Yeah, let's get out of here. Hey, what's going on, fellow rangers? Welcome back to my humble abode. Hope y'all enjoyed the hunt. So, as y'all saw, I mean, as y'all can see from other toy hunt videos, these Marvel Legends have been going on clearance already. You know, they've been what? It's only been what, like a month and a half since they came out. So, 
it's pretty nutty. I guess Target just wants to clear out uh, the shelves and put some new products. Um, I'm no expert, so who knows if one of y'all can um, uh, enlighten us on why they're putting these on clearance so quickly, then please let us know in the comments. But um, yeah, let's go and get to the haul. So um, I got this probably like a month and a half ago. So um, I'm pretty sure I received this like right after I uploaded my last video. But these are the Walmart exclusive Mutant Mayhem TMNT figures. And if you look, if you look closely, you know they have a lot more details than like the carded ones and the uh, the, the the battle packs. So very pleased with how these came out. I mean, these should have been on the carded figures, really, the blister cards. But I don't know how it is. They got to make as much money as possible. But um, yeah, love the movie. <clears throat> and yeah, these look great. Love the articulation. Um, doesn't have like butterfly joints or nothing too fancy. But, you know, they stand pretty well, as y'all can see. Don't really have trouble posing them. All right, let's go and get to the next haul. All right, up next, we have a toy from Furry Planet, a.k.a. Maestro Union. I believe they changed their name several times, or I don't know. It seems like they got several names, but um, it's a third-party uh, company uh, from China, I believe. But I got this from uh, ShowZStore.com, and this is of the figure Blade Master Wing. As you can see, it's like a samurai-looking tiger. And it's such an attractive figure. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, comes with a fair amount of accessories. Uh, let's take a closer look. All right. As you can see, it comes with some two blades. Very nicely detailed. Look at those rings on there. You can actually kind of move those. Yep. As you can see. I mean, look at the paint job. Just a majestic looking figure. I mean, look at that. It comes with another face sculpt. Articulation is great. I mean, look at the butterfly joints. Very easy to pose. Like, you see those paws. It's not that big, but it stands very well, you know? There's no loose joints. Um, the hands are very tight. The joints on the hands, yeah, they, it, it takes a lot of... You gotta actually, uh, what I think I, yeah, put it in boiling water or some hot water uh, to take them out to switch out the hands. But yeah, very good looking figure. Let me know what y'all think. Um, if you're into samurais and tigers, this is one that you do not want to pass up on. Um, I believe it's available on uh, BigBadToyStore.com. All right, let's move on. All right, and from Amazon.com, this was a pre-order from I think several months ago, and it's uh, this is from Hasbro, and it's from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection, and it's of the character Rita Repulsa. Not sure how different this is from the previous version of this figure. Um, it came in a two-pack with Lord Zed. Never bought that, and. Never saw a review or anything like that of the figure, but I mean, this is such a good figure for 30 bucks. Came with, um, I think a couple other face sculpts. I forgot. Uh, opened this like a couple weeks ago, but as you as you can see, it comes with cloth goods. I mean, it's just a perfect looking Rita Repulsa. You know, I was gonna get the Super 7 one, but I'm glad I just got this one. I'm pretty sure the Super 7 one is a lot more expensive. But yeah, what do y'all think? I mean, look at the paint job. That face sculpt. So good. I mean, if Hasbro can just do um, just as much of a good job on Marvel Legends, man, that would be wonderful. All right, let's move on. All right, for Uncle Ollie's, we picked up Megatron from the Beast Wars line. I wasn't going to get into this line, but... For fourteen ninety nine, I couldn't pass up on it. I do all, I, I have all the uh, modern masterpieces from Hasbro, from the Beast Wars line, so I was content with that. But I mean, gosh, for this price, I couldn't pass up on it. 
And I, I'm definitely going to pick up Optimus Primal later and maybe a couple more. And then we have Maggot from the Bone Breaker Wave. Um, I just need like, yeah, Havoc and Vulcan, I believe. And then I'll finish this bath here. And yeah, this is an excellent looking figure. They did a great job with this one. A lot of great details. And yeah, got it for $9.99. So glad I waited. Um, I did get what? Like the other figures. Uh, the Siren. And yeah, a couple other figures from the Wave for like $8 from Target when it went on clearance. Then we have this Fortnite arcade machine. 112 scale, so very nice addition for $1.99. Yeah, Ollie's, man, they've been killing it. Uncle Ollie's has been dishing out some great figures for really low prices. So, yeah, definitely a place I'm going to keep on hunting. And I would recommend for all y'all to do the same if you have one near you. All right, let's move on. All right, from NECA, got these figures like a month ago. These are based off the third live-action Ninja Turtles movie. And they look fantastic. I mean, so glad to have these in my collection. They did a fantastic job. i got to get them in some better poses, but... Uh, here we have Kino as well. Very glad that they came out with this version. With this outfit. And it comes with the moped back there. It's kind of hiding. It's kind of hard to see. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't want to bring these to the toy table. It's on my display. Um, and here is my Ninja Turtles display. We got the turtles from the first movie. And I'm sure y'all can figure out most of these characters. Uh, just need to add a little bit, yeah, several more foot soldiers and I'll be good. Oh, yeah, so also from Facebook, I did buy uh, from a, a seller. I got Danny Pennington for a very good price. And she also sold me a couple more foot soldiers. So glad to have more on the in the collection in this display. Love it. And on the top, we have the figures from the Batman and Ninja Turtles movie. These were GameStop exclusives and they look great. And sorry if the angle is a bit awkward. I'm uh this is actually on top of my detail, so like I'm standing on a stool right now. <laughs> um but yeah. Love the display. One of my favorites. All right, let's move on. All right, let's get to these clearance Marvel Legends. So we did pick up the Scroll 2-pack, Scroll Queen and Super Scroll, for $27.99. Cannot beat that. Very good deal. Haven't opened it up yet, um, so eventually we'll. I got a whole bunch of other, like, what, Scroll Troopers, uh, Super, or not Super Scroll, so, but Scroll um, Trooper figures. Um... Yeah, they were pretty limited on Hasbro. I don't know why, but I got like, I think four or six. But I don't know why they don't re-release re them, you know? I know a lot of people want them, so it's really strange. All right. And then we also got the Grey Hulk and Bruce Banner 2-pack for 30 bucks. Can't beat that. And I think this is based off like the more classic version of the Grey Hulk. I do have the previous version, and as you can see, it has like more details, like the creases on the the chest. Uh, the head is smaller on this one. I like the head on this, the head the, uh, face sculpt on this one more. But I think the body is the same, you know. But this one has more, yeah, details. The looks of it mostly the chest but i guess because maybe this is based off the classic one i could be wrong i'm not the most um knowledgeable about gray hulk but yeah excellent figure and bruce banner yeah it's just it's all right wish they had a, wish he had a more expressive expression on there 
All right. All right. Also for thirty bucks, we got the Thor and Destroyer two pack. I took out Destroyer already. Left Thor in the box because I already have enough Thors. Even though this one does look cool, it's got the facial hair, so I'll eventually take them out. But yeah, this Destroyer looks great. Uh, let's put the Gray Hole next to him so y'all can see a size comparison. Yeah, so the Destroyer is a bit, a little bit taller. But yeah, looks good. Like the spikes, I like the paint job. All right, let's move on. All right, that does it, my dudes. Thank you all for watching, especially if you stuck around this long into the video. And I'm really glad I got these Marvel Legends on clearance because I just it's hard for me to buy these at retail price. You know, a couple years ago at what a twenty dollar price tag, I'd have no issues with it. But you know, with how you know lack of details with a lot of these Marvel Legends, it's hard to pay twenty five bucks for them. But um. Yeah, so next up, I'm going to be hunting for the Marvel Legends 97 X-Men figures. I mean, they look so freaking good on those blister cards. So definitely looking forward to that. Hope y'all stick around. And um, yeah, let me just say, this Blade Master Wing figure, <laughs> absolutely marvelous. Definitely, it's definitely going to make it to my top 10 figures of the year. Uh, let me know what's a figure that's in your top 10 already of this year. Anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. Hope y'all are you know, doing well in life. Take care of yourselves physically and mentally. Please like, comment, subscribe. And I'll catch y'all next time, alright? Ranger out. Peace.